Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry and today I'm going to show you how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.21.7. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is have downloaded and played 1.21.7 at least once so that it's on your computer and functional. And then once you do that, head over to fabricmc.net and download the Fabric Loader. Uh, we're going to go ahead and not download for Windows, but instead I'm going to download the Universal Jar because it's just a little bit easier in my opinion. And then I'm just going to save this in my Minecraft 1.21.7 folder and hit save. And then it'll show up there in my downloads. And then that's pretty much it. We can go over here and then we can open up the file that it downloaded to and double click the fabric installer and it should load up and start the process. If it doesn't, you need to open this folder, a jar file with Java and tell it to use Java every time by going to choose another app and then selecting Java platform SE binary and clicking this button down here, always use this app to open jar files and then click okay. And that should make sure that it knows to use Java to open up jar files. So the fabric installer is very small and lightweight. It'll ask you what version of Minecraft you want to install it for. It includes 121.7 or 121.6. Uh, pretty much all of the old ones are in here down to 114. We just want the latest. Uh, you can also use snapshots if you want, but I don't need to do that, so I'm not going to check that today. Um, you can just leave the loader version as whatever it is. That's the most recent stable version. And then it should want to install it into your Minecraft folder inside your app data folder. If you know that you've moved where that folder is located, click the three dots over here and tell the fabric installer where Minecraft is hiding. Otherwise, you should be fine just leaving uh, all these at the default that they are now, including create a profile is ticked and then click install. And then it'll say, please close the Minecraft launcher before you do this. So, okay, let me do that. I'll hit yes. And now it has been successfully installed. It goes really quick. So now I can close this and reload my Minecraft launcher. So now when I've got this loaded up, I should have the option down here in this pull down menu to load fabric loader 1.21.7. Same thing in my installations folder here. And then if I want to, I can hover over this one and I can click on the folder icon to open up my Minecraft folder. And when you start downloading fabric mods, you can put them inside of this mods folder right here and drop them in here. Like I've got Iris and I've got sodium installed right here. Now, the other thing that I should note about this is that there are other things that you might need when installing stuff for Fabric. Some mods require the Fabric API alongside of them, uh, not just the Fabric loader. If they do, they'll usually tell you on the mod page or when you try to launch Fabric from your Minecraft launcher, it'll throw an error and crash and tell you that you're missing the Fabric API. So just a little side note. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. This has been a brief look at how to install Fabric for Minecraft 1.21.7. Bye!